it's actually hilarious. Jake's like, get back on, get back on. So we're on and all good, but. <laughs> there was actually a Sephora. <laughs> Oh, good Margie. just got off the train and then Jake realized we got off at the wrong stop our stops actually 10 minutes away that was actually hilarious Jake's like get back on get back on so we're on and all good but that was a close call not funny um so yeah I was trying to chat quick before but yeah the train's actually been fine I think Jake's been bored but I've just been ch totally chilling um having some downtime train guard um, but yeah I'm ready to see Venice and yeah living in the all white ensemble can you see my shoes bridal vibes also my hair has never been it's not very nice it's been crazy for the past two days so I need to sort that out tonight before we go out mooching because I want to look nice in Venice I was just looking with before um, at all of my photos and it doesn't even feel real but it was the best ever, 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 ever. We are arriving to Venice. So we've arrived in Venice and oh my god wow the room is insane I will insert a room tour now
I didn't actually show out the window, but I'm going to show you now. And then, well, I'm obviously a canal. It's insane. Um, let me show you. So as me and Jake went to, left to leave the room to go out mooching in Venice, we got a snapshot through of the video from the wedding and oh my god, I've cried my eyes out. It was honestly wow, like wow, 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 wow. <laughs> the best what day the ever. That's just Jake kicking off that he thinks he's in the video. Anyway, let's go explore. So it'll look like literally two seconds have passed, but actually we've been in the room for like an hour, just sending our um, wedding snippet video to everyone and watching their face on FaceTime when we watched it. No joke, but we literally were like about to leave the room and the guy sent it through. Jake was like, oh, he's tagged me. Honestly, it was insane, not over it. Now I just came out for a walk. It is so hot. Probably gonna go for a little snack and enjoy. Welcome to Venice. Jakey, I think the guy. You weren't in you there. You were in the q and I was, I was standing there. <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> Half eaten pasta with a side of margarita. morning from Venice what a lovely night's sleep we had it was actually an early night and I'm not gonna lie I think my eyes still look a bit puffy my face is still puffy because I've just woken up really Jake's desperate to get for breakfast he's starving so I've got this little outfit on shorts and top combo um, I look a bit naked but it's honestly so hot so I thought if I wore like my arms out I might feel better for the day Um, I look a bit revealing but just from this angle but yeah let's go and have breakfast in our hotel for the first time we'll see what it's like so we've just been for breakfast and i thought i would pop a little bit of makeup on whilst talking to the vlog because yeah why not um, I'm just trying to get all of my makeup out. My makeup bag actually broke in Florence, which is just totally typical. Um, so I'm just improvising. I've got a very large bag with it all in, which is not ideal. I can't really see. But, yeah. That's what I'm working with. Something seriously annoying going everywhere. Right, I need some SPF. I've also broken out really bad. I don't know you can see. Um, which would make me sad because I don't want to break out, but too late. At least it was to, like now and not on the wedding. But yeah, I'm just going to do some makeup. Oh. just been at breakfast looking through more pictures and videos and honestly I can't even explain like I still don't have the words I think I'm going to be able to find the words once I'm home maybe because right now I can't find them oh my god this skin is so bad I'm not sure why I've broken out, whether it's, well, it could be a lot of things. Could be the, all the alcohol. It could be all of the chocolate pancakes I've been eating for breakfast. <laughs> it could be the SPF. Who knows? But yes, yeah, so this is our first full day in Venice today. So we're literally gonna 
explore maybe a gondola ride I'm just actually in the little like lounge area of our room the room is amazing the hotel is fabulous I will leave all the details in the description box of where we're staying etc etc oh I'm really not loving my skin it was making me sad also I look naked but I'm not I mean that's a better light but <laughs> can't really put you out the window Maybe I'll not film this because I'm not loving the light. Mm. Good morning, Florence. Florence. E God, Venice, even. <laughs> First morning of exploring. I look honestly naked in the camera, but I'm not. And yeah, put makeup on. Probably gonna regret that, but what off for a fun day exploring. I did 10,000 steps yesterday. And that was barely walking, so I can't even imagine what we're going to do today. But yeah, taking in the views. I'm saying I wonder how long my hair will be down for. We shall see, but yes, let's go. It's been 30 seconds and the hair is up. It is hot. And it's only 10 to 11. We just took a little two euro gondola over the other side, which was fun to experience the gondola. And um, there was a lot of people on it, but that was fun. And now let's do some mooching. I keep getting Jake in, he's gonna kill me. drink and I'll show you the view. Wow. Because that bed looks dreamy. Just a casual Zara in the middle of the in the city. So of course I found a Zara. I was gonna buy some perfume, but they didn't have the one and it was so good. So hopefully I can get it online. We're just in the square now, which is so nice. It is roasting. I'm surprised my makeup's actually still on because I'm so boiling. This is the super famous Rialto Bridge. 
which is amazing but it is honestly about five million degrees this is now a department store that we've came into holy macaroni it's like selfridges it's actually yeah it actually is like selfridges london The view from this amazing shop. This is the Rialto Bridge from afar. some shopping today I've got the nicest little cord I will show you all when we get back to the hotel but it is so nice so we've been back at the hotel since about what time <laughs> he just stuck his fingers with us um I think since about four, half three, four, maybe four, um, and I've just woke up from the nicest nap, honestly. I had like the coldest shower when we got in because it's just been so hot. I thought I would do a little haul of what I got today because I've done some shopping. Um, my hair looks crazy. Um, but the bed's a mess, so I was gonna try and like show you on the bed but maybe I'll show you somewhere else basically I got some nice things so I'm gonna show you show show oh. <laughs> can you see me this is bad light yeah this is good I think so we got these two little ducks and this is a very like I think it might be a thing from Venice. So it's the Venix, Venix, <laughs> sounds like Venix, the Venice Duck Store. And we've got the little bride and groom ones, um, just like a little keepsake from our honeymoon, which I thought they were very cute. Hope I'm not flashing under there. But yeah, so, so cute, we've got those. And then, there was actually a, Sephora, which I was really excited about because I love going to Sephora's and normally I'm in there like two hours but to be fair I was in there probably like 25 minutes um, but I got two of their glosses because my mum once bought me one of these and they're actually number 130 by the way and um, my mum once bought us one of these types of glosses and it's been the best I've ever had they were like 13 pounds so I got one for me and I actually got one for my mum so I hope she loves that. And then I got the Tarte Shape Tape as well. I just guessed the colour. I went for 22N, but I do think it'll be a good colour. Um, I've had that once before and I got it in Vegas, I think, and never had it since, just been using the Aldi dupes. So I'm excited about that. Um, I was all, like, the only reason I got, like, them two bits was really because you can't get them in England. I don't like to buy things you can get from the UK so I got those and then before I actually went to any of them shops the first shop I went to was this what was it actually called I'd ask Jake but he won't tell me he doesn't want to be on the vlog I think the name is actually because Jake put a business card in the box so it was called Ven Venezia which is Venice I think that's how you say it and um, Bottega Gold Donny and basically it just had the nicest nicest things in so i first picked up when we first went into the first shop this little pair of like silver heels honestly i loved them tried them on and i ended up getting a bigger size actually than i wear in the uk but they're like a silver 
little block heel so gorgeous i literally i love them i'm actually gonna try them on while i'm sat here but i had to get like i said the size up because the six didn't fit and i was hoping it wasn't just because my feet were swollen but i do yes i did need this bigger size let me see And then I also picked up a hairband and there was loads of different hairbands but I really like this one so it's a white one with like loads of different let me show you loads of different little like jewels on so so nice I might actually wear this tonight I'm really struggling to wear my hair down because it's so hot this would look nice if my hair was down so i got this there was thicker ones but this was cute just leave everything in and then i found the same shop but like about sort of 15 minutes away and i popped in because i've been looking for some shorts to wear and i actually found this little combo which i'm obsessed with this is very me so it's, I've actually been looking for this sort of thing on Zara as well and I actually had seen it so on Zara there's like a blue short sorry uh, shorts and cotton what on earth shorts and shirt combo blue pinstripe like this but this is the one from the shop but it's full of diamantes and if you know me you'll know I'm obsessed with anything like that and then the shirt is the same you see probably isn't doing it very good justice but honestly you know when you just really love something i was like i'm obsessed and i needed it so that was all of my purchases of the day and i can't wait to wear this little combo i think it might be a bit hot to wear the shirt but i definitely want to wear the shorts while i'm here at some point um but yeah honestly so amazing the shop was probably want to go back before i leave and get some more bits to put away for like um our honeymoon because we're going to i don't think i've actually said this but we're going to the maldives for our honeymoon and dubai we're doing like that in january that's like our proper honeymoon um i guess this would be like a mini moon slash extended wedding trip i don't really want to call it a mini moon because i'm like this is honeymoon material if that makes sense it's just our honeymoon is Maldives so I thought I might go to that shop and pick up some bits for the Maldives um but yeah we've had such a nice day I'm not gonna lie sightseeing in this heat is really intense it's amazing but it is really intense um and wearing a red lip today <laughs> when it was so hot and I had a sula it was quite a lot but yeah, we've had the best day. Now we're gonna get ready because Jake, while I was napping, found a place on TripAdvisor and it's a pasta place, so we're going there for tea. Um, but yeah, that was my little haul. And let me get ready. And when I'm ready, I'll pick back up the vlog and show you what I'm wearing. So we're heading out. We just came back out and actually the weather is so much nicer because it's actually a lot cooler. Um, but yeah, we're just walking to the restaurant and we're going to have a few drinks I think tonight because I feel very well rested. I think the nap was needed, I think the whole wedding caught up with withers and everything like that but yeah, maybe some drinks. Good morning, Venice day two. It is so nice. We've just left the hotel and we've been up for breakfast and had more of a slower start, which has actually been really nice because I said to Jake last night, I was like, you're literally rushing me. He was like laughing, he wasn't, but I feel like he's been like, come on, let's do this. And it's normally me like that. Um, we've had a lovely slow start and Today we've got special visitors coming. My mum and dad are coming for the day with their friends, Jerry and Linda. Um, I say their friends, like family friends, our friends also. 
Um, so they're coming for the day, so they're getting the train here and they're gonna be here about 12, lunchtime. It's only 11 a.m. at the minute, so we're gonna have a slow walk up and grab like a coffee on the way to the station before meeting them. And then tomorrow night, our friends Jane and Tom arrive for their two nights in Venice. So we're gonna have dinner with those. So we've honestly got like the nicest couple of days and it has been lush just being me and Jake, like spending some total like quality time and also a little bit of downtime because I think after the wedding, we just felt so like, I can't even explain, just so happy. Um, so it's been nice just to soak it all in and all things like that. But yeah, just offer a little mooch to the station and pick up the pair rentals. And I've done no makeup today because yesterday I put makeup on and it was an absolute disaster. It was just so hot. I've got a little dress on today. And yeah, it's been a dream so far. And we're still not finished. We've got loads more exciting plans to come. But yeah. Let's have a fun Venice day too. I think we're going to all go on a gondola as well later, which is going to be fabulous. And also, it's really funny because I'm so confident to vlog in public here, obviously because I don't know anyone. But anyway, let's go. so I've not really been vlogging for the past sort of two days last night me and Jake literally had like the longest nap from like two o'clock up until like half nine no that's a lie four o'clock till about half nine and then we went out for just like some really late food got up this morning had a very chilled morning and then went for a wonder couldn't really decide what we wanted to do um today but we ended up just going like back into the city having a mooch around and it's so hot honestly in the middle of the day like I can't even explain it's like you literally sweat from places that you think did I even know I could sweat from there um but it's now is it Tuesday yeah it's Tuesday today and we're just about to head out for food with our friends Tom and Jane. So Tom is Jake's best man, or was Jake's best man, and Jane is one of my best friends. So we're literally just going to go meet them because they came to Venice today. <clears throat> they came to Venice today to finish their little Italian trip and they've just been to Lake Garda. So we're meeting up with them for some food and we're going to a place called 1000 Pizza Gourmet. Me and Jake um, picked it yesterday and we booked a table because the queue was like crazy out the door and we're like, oh, let's go there. Um, so we're going to go there with them at half seven. We're going to meet them first for a drink. And yeah, I have actually put makeup on tonight and I actually look in the camera and feel okay. I don't, I feel like my hair is literally just uncontrollable it looks like a horse's mane because it is just too hot to do anything with it and even if you do anything with it as soon as you go outside it's just absolutely boiling so i've put it in a little bubble tonight and i'm just gonna leave it like this i've got my blue reese dress on that my mum got me for christmas and yeah flat shoes honestly it's kind of almost impossible to wear a heel because there's just so much walking and um, i haven't felt really that glam this holiday but it's actually been nice just to not wear loads of makeup and just 
really relaxed like it honestly has been super relaxed in the last couple of days we've done lots of chilling lots of napping which i think's needed especially after the come down of the wedding but yeah we're heading out tonight i'm gonna take the vlog because i've been so bad on the vlog but i think the vlog will still be pretty long so i think it's all good um but yeah let's go meet tom and jane and have a fun night oh and i forgot to say me and Jake went to this little restaurant today and did like this little wine tasting thing, which was so fun. It was like 43 euros and you got five glasses of wine and you like got sort of a little menu with all the flavours on and we had like cicchetti or cincetti, I think it's cicchetti, which is like the Italian sort of lunch. What they do is like little bits of like, I don't know, today for example, there was like, I'll insert a video, a little clip, but it's like little bread, like... Yeah, Kong chicks like tapas. Yeah, it's a like little tapas basically, and it was really good. Um, so we did that today, which was so fun. Just had a wander, had more wine. But yeah, we've had a really lovely day. We're now going out, so I'll shut up and try and get my words out. But yeah, let's go meet Tom and Jane and have a really fun evening. We're just walking along to meet Tom and Jane near their hotel. It's like 20 to 7, and it is honestly still so hot. But I'm not complaining, it's just the sweat is real but yeah this is the view Good morning everyone and welcome back to Venice day 4. I've lost track. Um, it's 8.30. It's 8.35 actually, 8.35. And me and Jake are heading to a new hotel just for breakfast. I think Jake found it on the internet. And he said that it's meant to be good. So we're going to go there. It's called the St. Regis. So we're heading there for some breakfast. And I'm not going to lie. I'm out of breath, so sorry. Um, we had a lovely night last night with our friends Jane and Tom. That was honestly so nice just to like meet up with them and talk all about the wedding and just like life in general. It was lush. Um, went to a really nice place called Pizza Gourmet, but there was loads of flies. It was really, really weird. Um, but the food was still amazing, so can't really complain. We'll leave tomorrow, Venice, and we're going to Milan. So. I'll probably do like a separate Milan vlog but we'll still have a full day in Venice so obviously I will keep you updated with what we do. First stop is the St Regis for breakfast. So that failed because they said that there was no tables available until 11 a.m. and it's 9 a.m. so we're not gonna wait. Kind of feel like they must prioritize their hotel guests or something. But as for the walk, that was annoying because now I have to walk all the way back. It's like 20 minutes, even though Jake says it's five, it's 20. So yeah, just gonna head back now. Totally annoying, totally, totally, but any, any hoozles. So we're back in our hotel having pan au chocolat with Nutella. It's like groundhog day, this is what we have, what I have every day. Delish. Just cover the, <laughs> and the croissant. I was just about to start blogging. You coming in, do you want a feature? You know a husband, you can, I'll let you. So, me and Jake had breakfast and it's now like a few hours later. It is now actually quarter, is it 10 to one? Five to one. And basically we've just lay in the room all morning because 
we're just our feet are so tired we've been obviously every day like out walking and like seeing everything and we've kind of seen everything that we wanted to do so we're both are just like should we have like a chill day because obviously tomorrow we'll go to Milan and we know that Milan will be a lot more walking as well so we're just like right let's just chill and like honestly I've had a nap um it's been really nice actually just very 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 relaxing um and then before I opened the windows and I was like if you close your eyes you can pretend that we're in the sunshine well it's still warm obviously it's lovely and warm but um we're pretending that we're at the pool it was just really funny um, but we've actually just ordered pizza to come to the room so we're waiting for that and we've got a bottle of champagne on the wedding day and I think we're going to drink a bit of that as well and just kind of relax um, and I normally would feel bad for this on a holiday like when you're just like in the room but it's actually so refreshing just to chill yeah and give these feet a break from walking because honestly we've done like 20,000 steps each day so it's a lot um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for the pizza to come. I've been like editing videos for YouTube and just totally relaxing and it's been so nice. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. And also I just keep looking at all of the wedding photos. I can't stop looking at them, um, which is just so lovely. And yeah, that's what we're doing. I've got my jammers on, just relaxing. It's really perfect actually. <laughs> the pizza has arrived same place as last night <gasps> oh good margi so we finally left the room and it's like 10 past 3 it is so hot but actually I feel quite calm and cool because we've been in all day and I feel very well rested um, but yeah we're heading to meet Jane and Tom again for some drinks and see where the night takes us hopefully it cools down <laughs> Jake's if she ran ahead to try and get some shade because it's freaking hot so it's Jane and Tom's anniversary so we quickly popped into a little shop and got them a postcard of Venice and just wrote it out quickly and um, because they've been married four years today so we're happy that they're spending their little anniversary with us and um, I thought that was really cute so I just wrote happy anniversary Jane and Tom so happy we get to share the day with you both love you lots and I put four years forever to go crazy Welcome back to Venice and welcome to a very hungover me. Yesterday it got crazy with Jane and Tom and we had lots to drink and I'm so hungover and we're just waiting to go and get the train. <sighs> Honestly, ropey. Um, but yeah, just waiting to go and get the train to Milan. We're taking a water taxi to the train station which is going to be fun. Our last little trip in Venice um, and yeah then we're heading to Milan I hope I start to feel better soon because honestly it's been a rough morning let's just say that
we're on the train to Milan. The hangover is real, but I'm going to leave this vlog here and make a full new Milan vlog. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will see you in my next video.